Hi guys, it's John from Cinematic Studio. I'm gonna give you a short tour of the application. There's four sections. The middle one, the video, we'll get to that in just a bit. The left one and all these icons basically change the view. The right one and the same happens with these icons and the timeline. Let's insert some videos. You can do it from here with the import media and you can just select some files or you can just drag and drop them here at this point you can preview them just like this and you can also use the arrows to go one frame to the left or to the right and at any point you can just drag them from here onto the timeline. You can also drag videos directly to the timeline. Now let's go through the left views. First we have text effects. Let's just take this one, drag and drop it to the timeline. Alright, let's change something. And then let's preview it again. Here we have texts. Once again, you can just drag and drop it and do a simple edit. Let's just also change the color. All right. And it's right here, you can even place it wherever you want. We also have text contours. Basically, I will explain this in another tutorial, but let me just give you a quick preview. I think you'll like it. All right. Next, we have shapes, which is pretty self-explanatory. Once again, you can just drag one to the timeline and you have it. Next we have masks. Once again I will delve into this in a different tutorial but here's a small preview. And we also have the opposite of these masks which is opaque masks like this. Next we have some insta bubbles like this with the wiggle in any corner you want. These are rounded rectangles, the same with the different wiggles everywhere. Instagram rounded rectangles, which is, uh, you know, like the Instagram conversations. Fixed rectangles and circles. Okay, let's drag one and have some fun. Okay, let's change the font, let's make it more cinematic and yeah, that's it. You can adjust this to your liking. Alright. Finally we have the music. This is basically royalty free music you can use within Cinematic Studio. We have two types of songs these ones that are on a loop and you have the intro which is the dark green the loop which is the green and the outro which is the red if you drag a loop onto the timeline you will get 10 times this loop so for example if the loop is like 20 seconds you will get 200 seconds we also have some full songs which are these at the bottom which are colored blue you just drag one and that's pretty much it. Now to the right side. So these are the properties. This is the about, which basically tells you what version you're running and the licensing. This is where you can chat with us. And this is how it's going to look when you try to export. Now back to the properties. Let me show you a few cool things. 
you can change a property value by dragging the slider. Or you can click and drag to the right or to the left. This is way more accurate than the slider because you can control stuff a lot better. All right, now let's get to the timeline. First of all, you can use the arrows to go one frame to the left or to the right. Or if you click up or down, you go 10 frames to the left or to the right. Now you can select an item and if you use the arrows it will move that item one frame to the left or to the right or 10 frames to the left or to the right if you use up or down. There's quite a few things you can do with the arrow keys and uh, I will delve into this in a different tutorial. Another cool thing you can do is quickly fade in or fade out. This will actually fade in your text and this, okay, this will resize it. All right, this will fade it out. See, awesome. All right, now let's get into trimming. This applies to anything, whether it's video, audio, text or whatever and it's contextual, it will apply to whatever you're hovering. So in this case, it will apply to this video. If I press I, everything below where I am will be deleted like this. If I press O, everything after where I am will be deleted like this, okay. And if I just want to split it in two, I just press B and that's it. Clearly, I didn't want to do any of these, I was just showing off, so let's just undo. Alright. To move through the timeline, use the mouse wheel, right and left. And if you want to zoom in, just press Ctrl and use the scroll wheel, like this, or like this. It's that simple. And yeah. You can do fade in and fade out on sounds as well. It's as simple as this. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or you'd like any specific tutorials, just drop a comment below.